There we go. Okay, wait. We got one dog down. If I could get him to quit pivoting back and forth. There we go. Off with his head. Nice. Welcome back, everybody. Seven days to die on Alpha 18. I am an old guy gaming, and we played this game on insane difficulty with nightmare speed for all zombies all the time. It's hard as hell, and it's fun as hell. Okay, so uh, let's let's go ahead and get started here. So it is um, almost five o'clock in the afternoon, at game time. I set myself up a little uh, hay bale platform here, uh, emergency jump off place if we end up needing it. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to nerd pull up to the top of the, of the building. And usually when I've done this before, there haven't been um, sleepers on the top, but that doesn't mean there won't be. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do um, some side supports so that, um, you know, in a few places as we go up, so even if they take the bottom row out, we still have some supports there. All right, we just got somebody's attention. So we don't have a lot of time to get up here. Okay, so it looks clear. I'm just making sure there's no buzzards or no sleepers up on the roof itself. I don't see any. Whoops. Okay, so the only thing we really need to do to secure this place is we need to um, uh, pop open this door and then block the that ladder hatch right there. Or we'll just break it off. They can't... I don't think they can get to it from all the way at the bottom, but they... I think it's possible for them to jump on it because I've seen them do it before. So let's break this. That's really going to get them riled up. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch this hole with some bars so that we can, uh, you know, see, see down in there if we need to to see what the hell's going on. Um, and let's just make wood bars, and we'll, then we'll upgrade them to iron. So they have a little little bit more strength to them. Uh, all right, so we want to... Do, 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 do. If we do an on face, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, and then we just upgrade these to iron, and we're all set. Perfect. Okay, this should... I think this is asphalt. Yeah, that's 2,500 hit points, so that's pretty tough stuff there. That's really all we need to do. Um, you know, we've pretty much secured this building for Horde Night. I have never uh, seen a Horde be able to take this apartment building down, even in, you know, the later game when they're pretty nasty. So, uh, you know, they're going to tear the shit out of all the rooms down below, but they're not going to be able to get up here. You know, we could even do the wood bar thing in one of these, you know, window areas and uh, use that to, you know, shoot down into them. Um, one thing I would like to do, though, is I would, I would like to build a shelter in here in case we do get buzzards. And if we're going to do that, we should probably... Hmm, how do I want to do that? I don't really want to use a door because then we won't be able to see out you know, see out what's going out on outside. So I think I'm just going to leave this open. And I don't think the buzzards would fly in here. I, I could be wrong about that, but I don't think they will. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and bust out these windows here, I guess, so that we can actually shoot down in there and kill those guys. So let's see, we're gonna need... how much wood do I have on me? 211 and a wood bar takes... oh, it only takes six. Okay, we got we got plenty of wood. So it looks like there's 12... Uh, 12 panes there. I don't know if we'll be able to upgrade them all to iron 
67. It'll take 10. Nah, I probably won't upgrade them all to iron. That would be expensive. So we'll just leave them as wood and just, you know, keep them repaired. Okay, so let's break these out. And be careful not to fall in there ourselves. Let's grab our uh, our bars here, and we want to do on face. So really, the only threat to us uh, should be you know buzzards if if we get buzzards. And so the plan for them is you know I'll, like I said, I'll just run back in through here. And I don't think they'll try and come in here. If they do, then, you know, we'll just blast them. The thing is, though, is if they're the boss buzzards, they're a lot tougher and they spit. So, <laughs> no, we'll see. We may not get those on day 14. My game stages are pretty low, too. Uh, 35, yeah, that's, that's not that high. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much all I'm planning on doing for, you know, getting ready for Horde Night. Um... Well, one thing I suppose I could do is I could make up a bunch of just cheap stone crossbow bolts um, I don't want to use my guns on them because you know the ammo is too precious right now but you know we could use our crossbow to shoot at them um, where's our house at house is over here it's a little bit little ways away I have to run back there to get the feathers um, hmm and then we can just make up a bunch of stone bolts so we have something to shoot at them. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, I think we have time. So we're going to have to scooch down here fairly quickly. And we got Skater Punk down there to deal with too. I want to recover these blocks so I can use them to get back up again next time, so that's why I didn't just jump down. All right. So let's run back to the house and get some feathers, and then we'll make a, a whole bunch of crossbow bolts, and we'll just use crossbow bolts against these guys tonight. Come here, you bastard. See if we can take his leg off with cripple him. Well, or kill him. That works too. <laughs> Cripple him or kill him, either way. I'll take either one. I thought about doing Horde Knight on the... Am I going the right way? Where the hell are we going? Yeah, I'm going the right way. I thought about doing it on the theater, okay? But the theater... The problem with the theater is it doesn't have <clears throat> spider protection. You know, that whole entire... Whoa! That whole entire hotel... Or, I mean, apartment building, I'm sorry. Take off his leg. Cripple him. Cripple him. Cripple him. <laughs> or kill him. All right. I'm supposed to have a 35% chance of, of crippling their leg. What the hell? I haven't seen a proc once yet. Anyway, um, yeah. So, th so the, the whole apartment building has an eave all the way around it. So it basically has built-in spider protection. But this building does not. Um, and it's only 2,500. I mean, I'm sorry. It's only 1,500 hit points on the blocks, too. So it's not um, real tough. So I decided not to, to use that. Okay, so we have feathers in here. Let's grab about ha half a stack of them. Um, we've already got a bunch of stone. Wood, we're still a little bit shy on wood, though. I think I'm going to leave these here. Uh, I don't think we're going to need it. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's leave those there. Oh, uh, how's our iron doing in here? Oh, it's really, really low. How are we doing on iron arrowheads? We only have 10 iron arrowheads. So let's grab these stone crossbow bolts. Uh, you know what? I might grab the stone arrows too, in case we run out. And we'll just fire those and we'll save our iron arrows for after Horde Night. Okay, so the only thing we need then is wood, right? I think that's all we need. Got 135 
boards, but I'd like to get maybe just a little bit more than that. Um, let's grab a few more feathers too. Okay. So let's get back to the apartment building first, and then we'll cut a few trees down right next to it. Okay, guys, it is about time. About time for Horde Night. <clears throat> so let's hop on up here. Get our, get our stamina back. How are we doing on uh, food and water? We can actually stand a drink, so let's do a drink and then we'll get, get us some stamina quickly. Just about there. Make sure we don't <clears throat> have any new guests up here. I don't think I don't think there's sleeper volumes on the apartment roof anymore. I haven't seen them in a long time. There used to be several several alphas ago, uh, but not anymore. Okay, well, it's about time. Horde Night 14. At least this time we uh, <laughs> we got up here and <clears throat> got prepared in a little less hectic fashion than the last time. Uh, last or the first Horde Night, Horde Night 7 was crazy. All kinds of mishaps going on. All right, here we go. So we can just mo mostly we just need to watch out for buzzards. That's really the only thing that could that's likely to hurt us, unless something crazy happens that I'm not expecting. Excuse me. It's too bad I didn't take a little bit more time, you know, to, uh, 
you know, to put some spikes and stuff down and try and secure things a little bit better, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to put the junk turret down here, too, right by the door. Um, so that way, if vultures do show up, it's, it can help provide support uh, against those. So, yeah, they're pretty much just going to be down there, uh, you know, tearing the crap out of the apartment complex. And uh, we'll be up here. So, let's see. Let's get the um, crossbow here on uh, the toolbar. And, like I said, we just have to watch the skies. You know what we probably should do is bring this closer to us. Let's bring this closer to us. Because the one of the things that the turret will do is it'll kind of give us a bit of an early warning system. I don't want it shooting at the zombies, though. So, can we... Uh, let's put it right here. Okay. Yeah, so that should... That should keep us safe from buzzers. Can we get all the way over here? Ah, we can't. Okay, so we got to stay on this side to keep it activated. All right, well, look at all those Zs down there just waiting for us to shoot them right in the head. Just like that. I don't have any... Uh, any explosives, but you can't throw those to the bar anyway, so... We can kill ourselves a couple of doggies. Those are evil doggies. We're not doing a ton of damage just because we're using stone crossbow bolts and, you know, we're on, on insane. But, you know, it's better than nothing. At least we can have something to shoot at them this time. Before, we didn't shoot at them at all. Okay. Did we kill her or just knock her down? I think we just we just knocked her down. <laughs> okay, that time we killed her. Just gotta look for that XP in the corner there. It's not. It, I'll tell you what, man. It is nice having that turret there. I'm I'm so used to watching for buzzards that I'm still doing it, and it's probably not a bad idea to still do it, but. Just to know that, you know, it's there, it'll give us a bit of an early warning system as needed. Nice to know. Oops. Didn't hit anything that time. Uh, didn't hit anything that time either. <laughs> there we go. Okay, wait. We got one dog down. If I could get him to quit pivoting back and forth. There we go. Off with his head. Nice. Okay. So just kind of getting him to bunch up like that helps a little bit because then I can get a shot off on them of some sort. Nurse Nancy. knocked her down but we haven't killed her yet now we killed her all right we got another level sweet i have to decide what we're going to put that point into there's so many things that we need to do um we'll probably worry about that after horde night's over though one thing being um uh what we need to do for our mini bike but our well well mini bike too but i mean a bicycle the thing is, though, man, I'm going to be so pissed if I put points into that and then I find the schematic for it. And you know I'm going to. That's what we should be doing is looking for bookstores. Maybe that's what we're going to do. That'll be our next, like, prime objective. All right, I need to find a Zeke that's sort of kind of holding still so I can get headshots off. Like you. Oh, well, you were holding still, Nurse Nancy. So if I, if I had a little more time, if I would have just decided to come here in the first place, you know, instead of messing around with the Shotgun Messiah, I would have busted out the front steps, 
you know, and prevented the horde from getting like all the way up this high. I mean, at the end of the day, it kind of really doesn't matter because whether they take the blocks out up here or down there, they, you know, the building could still collapse. But the nice thing about not, um, you know, taking them all out or not letting them get all up here is that, you know, then they don't tear the crap out of the apartment. There's a lot of good food and stuff in this apartment. Um, and some weapons and other stuff too, but the food's like really good. Okay, how far can I back up before that thing shuts off? Okay, so it's still running right there. There goes the timer. Alright guys, well, you know what? Um, pretty much, unless something bad happens, <laughs> Um, unless something bad happens, this is pretty much going to be what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. So, I think I'm going to cut the, uh, actually I think I'm going to end the episode here, because we are out of time, anyway. And, uh, if something crazy does happen, I will start the next episode with whatever that crazy thing is. If it doesn't, then I'll just see you guys in the morning for the next episode, and we will go from there. Probably, and like I said, probably we'll prioritize, you know, starting to find books and stuff. Um, so that we can, you know, hopefully luck out and get like a bicycle or a mini bike schematic or some, some way for us to get a vehicle. Because I think it's about time for us to get one of those. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. Those things do help and I do appreciate it. And we'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.